Yo, what's up guys? So it's gonna be a good day today. I'm feeling good about the trash business, and the roll off business. We're gonna have a nice day. We're gonna take you out on our day, take you down to the dump again, try to get some material handing, handling footage. And they're gonna be down at the dump. They're gonna be pretty busy today. So we're gonna check it out down at the dump. They got, I'm sure they have the trucks, you know, locked and loaded, man. They're gonna be moving a lot of material. And they're really efficient down there. So I like watching them. I've been going there for about 10 years. They're really nice people. I love going there. We got Vinny, the operator on the on the excavator. We'll try to get him on there. That I've known him for about 10 years now. I met him from going down to the dump. It's like we're two brothers now. He's like my younger uncle. But anyway, come along with us today and we'll you know check this out together. So we were driving down the street today. The reason I call this today 4K Luck is because a guy kind of pulled out in front of us. He was passing us on the shoulder. Yeah, I was in the slow lane and he passed us on the shoulder and almost pretty much either hit us or ran us off the road. Now he wouldn't have ran us off the road because he would have lost the uh, the battle on that front as far as you know hitting a bigger truck. You know the bottom line is is it took it takes a little bit of luck sometimes to you know to keep running smoothly. So definitely today was a, a luck day. That's why I rubbed the Buddha or got behind the Buddha today and said, thank you, Mr. Buddha, for the luck. We needed it today. So that's our that's our meaning for the luck day. So this weekend, I had a nice weekend. It was beautiful. A little bit of wind on the bay. Took the boat out. My kid caught her first fish ever, nine years old. Another catfish? Ah! Don't worry, Jasmine, Jasmine, don't lose that rod. Don't be silly, goose. Is it a catfish again? Here. <laughs> he is silly. <laughs> um, my six-year-old, she didn't want to go fishing. So we went out with some friends and she caught her first fish on the bay. That was pretty exciting stuff. What I want to show you guys here is that when you bungee, when you bungee your dumpster, when you bungee your tarp to your dumpster, is you always want to have two bungee cords in the front. The reason is if you use one bungee cord and you put it together, like some, I've seen people do, if that, if that bungee breaks, the whole tarp could come off. So make sure you always have two one separate bungee cord on each corner of your dumpster. This way, your if, if it breaks, the dumpster, the tarp won't come off your dumpster. You could depend on one strap in the back and one on either side, but the two front, it's good to have um, uh, two separate bungee cords for that safety so it doesn't come off. Got some good luck with the Buddha today, so I'm feeling pretty good about things. It's pretty nice today, 80 degrees, humidity is way down. I'm liking today. It's been a little humid the last few days out here in Eastern PA. It always makes for a nicer day. Customers are always in a better mood when they're not killing themselves on the job. It's, you know, way nicer down at the dump. The only thing down at the dump, it's dusty as hell. So you gotta deal with the dust down there, but nevertheless, they do their best they can to keep it down. Got some cool video of the dump today. We're gonna be checking that out. Back on the, you know, the wind and grind of, of picking up dumpsters. New truck in front of us. Guy has a new truck, brand new roll off. Looks like a uh, international sweet looking truck actually. Brand new, I don't think it lifted up the dumpster yet. Look at that. Let me get closer. Look at that thing. That thing is brand new. Looks like it just came off the showroom floor. Sweet. It's a nice truck. I like to get some video of that truck. It's a tandem with a lift axle on it. Pretty cool truck. So we tried to pull the guy over for the uh, with the new roll off. He didn't want to he probably thought we were going to try to kidnap him, bring him in our basement. I told him to pull over, we'll do some video with you on your new roll-off. He didn't want to do it. I guess he thought we were creepy. We looked like two uh, two creepers in our hook truck. He didn't want to do a video, guys. He wanted to just keep working. I don't know why. Working is kind of boring. So we're going to head back to the shop. I need some death fluid for the truck. Left this morning without filling death up. My fault. I cost myself 15 minutes heading back to the yard, getting death. These new trucks have the DEF fluid with the engines. My suggestion, buy a truck that, that is pre-emissions. Nothing but trouble with the new trucks. They're horrible. Anyway, is what it is, right? You gotta do what you gotta do. We're gonna chill this today and just keep working. We've got a big list, it's busy right now. Each truck has a, has a full stack of drops and um, pickups. Uh, we're actually starting early these days. We try not to work Saturdays. I try to have enough drivers and stack the work to where we're not working Saturdays. The reason is I feel like people 
should have time to themselves. And if they don't want to work Saturday, it's completely up to them. Now there's sometimes I'll ask guys, hey, we work Saturday and they'll kind of him and haw, you know, they'll they'll do it. And, and sometimes reluctantly, sometimes not. Sometimes the guys want the overtime. Money's money, right? So we'll ask the guys, hey, can you come in and you know do a few and roll a few cans out on Saturday? But for the most part, we're usually out of cans by the weekend. And Saturdays are just more or less for like float days for people when we do work. You know, we'll try to get caught up on Saturday. But a lot of times we'll be out of dumpsters even before the weekend. We try to price our dumpsters cheap enough to where it's a no brainer for them when they're calling for prices. Hey, listen, I mean, you gotta make hay when the sun is shining, but I also like for the guys to be able to have some time off on Saturday. The reason I have this is if somebody forgets to shut the door and the door's not shut and there's trash um, that is pushing against the door, I could ratchet it shut. So that's why I have this. Breaking up the day with the video for me, it's like a dream job. I enjoy, you know, producing the videos for you guys and trying to give you some information on how things operate and how I conduct a daily vlog style video. We'll definitely be coming up with some ideas for some upcoming videos, not making mistakes that we've made, you know, and, and that's as easy as having a list and you know, how do you put your day together so you're not wasting time? We're gonna um, try to put together some videos to show you how we do it and how we put our day together and when we take an order, how do we plan it out?